ready so good afternoon dear participants and uh, we have all gathered here to learn about a language tool called word wall so before we begin i would like to share my name is priyakshi gupta and i'm working with cit ncert as senior consultant senior academic consultant for english so uh, when we talk about language tools the first thing that comes to our mind is the core skills that we are bound to address which are listening speaking reading as well as writing now it is during the pandemic that there has been a shift in the way we teach in the way the classes are conducted from offline to online or blended mode of learning right so when we were teaching in the brick and wall classroom setting we would always uh, उटिंगी so uh, we can easily imagine since we have there has been a shift so we can actually think about how we used to teach in traditional mode of uh, classroom with a lot of students a textbook and what happens is that we end up rushing with the syllabus at times we don't know whether we have really achieved our learning outcome we also see that uh, often times there are students who are very confident with their uh, language skills there are certain students who may have the competence of language but they don't come out and speak up in the class so using a language tool and incorporating it in digital as well as offline learning how can we address these concerns when it comes to achieving the learning goals of the language skills as well as language as a subject right so um i don't know if you have heard of this term called edutainment edutainment is a term that was first used by walt disney in uh, 1954 and we use it as we use this term to talk about educational entertainment right so education should be such that there is engagement as well as fun and something that is engaging automatically involves the fun element so we need to use tools in such a way that the student feels autonomous when it comes to practicing and performing a sense of belonging so that the child feels confident of how and what he is performing and competent right so these three are the major areas which we will be addressing with the tools that i will be talking about today also one more thing in case you have any questions please keep posting it in the chat box i will be taking it up at the end of the demo session and in case there is some major concern you can always use the virtual hand uh, and so you can raise the virtual hand and put forward your questions all right moving on i'm going to share my screen now so is my screen visible to all you can just show a thumbs up From your yes. end, so that yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, great. I could see a few thumbs up. Yes. So the tool that we are going to discuss about today is Word Wall. So at the end of this presentation, what are we going to achieve? What will be the goals of this presentation of Word Wall? So our first and foremost goal is to understand the importance and use of language tools why do we use language tools what are we going to achieve with it next we will be able to create interactive and user friendly content on word wall so when we talk about interactive it doesn't mean that it involves only interaction right it involves some kind of a response feedback activity feedback mechanism when it comes to achieving the learning outcome next we will be able to make learning more engaging and fun and last but not the least at the end of this presentation we will be able to integrate different tools to improve the teaching learning processes for languages 
Now, when we talk about ICT and language tools, right? So I first, initially I talked about traditional mode of classroom to blended mode of learning that we are mostly following these days. So how are language tools going to help the students? And do we think that it is only the students' tasks that we are, uh, you know, kind of um, streamlining? We need to streamline the task as well as the way forward for teachers as well. It's not that we are making the students' tasks easier. We have to make our tasks as educators, as teachers, we have to make our tasks as easier as well. So when it comes to ICT and language tools, what it does for the teachers are, they enhance their class, classroom delivery. ICT and language tools make teaching learning and uh, teaching learning fun. They help in restructure, uh, they help in structuring their resources and provide variety in teaching. I don't know. So there a problem? Madam, Madam, no problem. Your okay. right. uh, Central, sir, I think you are not on mute. Please kindly be on mute. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll go a bit slow. That's fine. Okay, Shamira, ma'am. Voice breaking, not audible. Okay, could be because of the network. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. For students, ICT and language tools make them proficient in languages and become lifelong learners and it develops their LSRW skills, right? So when it comes to language, of course, the four core skills that come to our minds are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Plus, it also in yeah. 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 Okay, so do, we do have a couple of hints. I thought we only had English speaking states, which is why I was not incorporating Hindi. Okay, okay, I will be, I will use bilingual. Uh, I'll be bilingual uh, when it comes to this presentation. So, uh, ICT and language tools ke baare mein hum ye baat kar rahe thi ki kis tarikhe se sirf hum students ke liye hi aasan nahi karte, but teachers ka bhi hum kaam isse aasan kar dete hai. Jaise teachers ke liye ye classroom delivery enhance karta, aap kis tarikhe se padhate hai, kis tarikhe se aap apna content ko present karte hai, kis tarikhe se aap apne teaching learning process ko mazidar banate hai. Ya madam, uh, English, English is better madam. Okay, sir, I will be using both the languages. I will, okay. Okay. I will uh, present it in English and I'll explain it in Hindi. Okay, so that all the participants are engaged. That's that's what language does, right? We need to engage everyone in this session, right? Thank you. So, uh, teaching ke taur pe alag alag vibhinna prakar ke hum content tayar kar sakte hai language tools se. Students ki baat aaye, to... Sorry. Uh, I'm saying this time and again, dear participants, in order to have a smooth session, it would be great if you could be mindful about keeping yourself on mute. Thank you very much. Moving on. So students ki baat ho rahi thi, sunne ki, bolne ki, parne ki, aur likhne ki skills ko hum, language tools se hum enhance kar sakte hai along with their critical thinking skills, and keep problem solving skills. Sorry. Now, next question is, what exactly is this word wall? It's of course a tool that we are going to learn today, but let's look at the brief introduction of word wall. So yes, it is an online tool used to create interactive games for students. It is also used to create printed materials in the form of worksheets. Now, its variety of templates are useful in creating and sharing resources from any corner of the world. And it aims to make teachers' lives easier 
and to improve the education standards of the students. Now, what would be the, the pedagogical implications of world wall on different subjects? Now, as we know that we don't have any specific tool to teach English per se, right? All these tools are generic, which you can use to incorporate content of different subjects as well, not just language or English, but other subjects too. So word wall can be used to create content for other subjects as well, like math, science, SST, apart from languages. The tool enables students to apply their critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, decoding, enhances their vocabulary and inquiry based learning. It can be used to improve the overall quality of teaching. It integrates learning with fun with the help of visual representation. So when it comes to visual representation, think about a child playing a game on his, on his parents' mobile or his own mobile phone, right? I'll just take a pause here. So we often find that students or children, they are quite glued to their mobile screens when they are playing the game. Right? What happens there is that if a game is too easy, they'll find it boring. If it is too difficult, they won't get a sense of belongingness there. So they will just delete the easy game as well as the difficult game. They need something moderate where they know their competence and they also know that they can improve it by leveling up. So it has to be a, a bit of that there has, it has to be a little bit of a bit easy and it should also give them the opportunity to level up, to compete, right? Now, I think you must be thinking that why is Priyakshi ma'am talking about games when it is a session on language tools? Because all these are interconnected and interrelated, right? We will know this, your, your questions will be answered when you look at the different templates that we have on word one. Moving on. It enables the teachers to achieve their learning outcomes effectively. So finally, we have landed on how to start with word one. So first and foremost, you're going to go, you're going to open any browser, type www.wordwall.net, not .com or org, www wordwall.net and your web page will open something like this. You will click on sign up to start creating. When you click on sign up, you will find this icon called sign in with Google. If you have a Gmail account, you can easily sign in with Google. Once you have signed in, this is how your page will look like. There will be a blank my activities tab and you will click on create your first activity now. You can also click here, the blue icon, one of the same thing. Now, these are the types of resources that we can create on WordWall. So I'll just give you a quick overview of each template briefly so that you know how and where to incorporate these templates with respect to the content that you would like to create. So the first is Matchup, which uses a drag and drop mechanism uh, to match a particular keyword with the next one. Second is quiz template, where you can create a series of multiple choice questions and you can also add images here. Third is random wheel. Random wheel is more of an interactive teaching tool which you can use in a live classroom. So suppose you have a spinning wheel, certain options, and you can use it in order to make your child, make your students give an extemporary or in sessions where you would want to teach them about speech. Or let's say you can also uh, use it as a read aloud tool where you have certain sentences or words and you want the child or the student to read something correctly. So you can use this random wheel as a random option selector. Next comes missing word, which is a fill in the blanks activity. You choose an incorrect word as well as a correct word and the student or the one who is playing this activity just has to drag and drop the correct response to the blank. Then comes group sort. It's a categorizing activity where suppose you are you want to teach students about uh, noun versus action words or naming words versus verbs. So they can easily categorize it into 
two groups. Next is find the match. This is again, not exactly a language template per se, but identifying shapes or some common feature, I mean, based on your learning outcome. Then comes unjumble, where you just have to give the correct sentence and word wall unjumbles it in the form of a question. So the student will drag and drop the words to frame a legible as well as a comprehensible sentence. Next comes matching pairs. Now we have played this uh, quite a lot in our younger days where you have a lot of tiles, you have to match, you have to flip the tile and match the correct pair. And the game com completes once you have, uh, once, you, once you find out all the matching pairs. Then comes open the box. Now random wheel, uh, okay. Random wheel, open the box as well as flip tiles. These three tools are more of interactive teaching tools, uh, which you can use in a live classroom. So these are more or less the same. Open the box as well if you want to give any options and you click on two. So the option just zooms into the screen. Same with flip the tiles. If you choose a tile, it flips and it zooms in on the screen. And then you can ask the child to maybe, you know, perform a role play or read that word, read a sentence, perform a sentence, give a, give a speech, give an extempore, as per the learning outcome. Then comes word search. Now, spellings are also very important when it comes to language teaching in schools. So you just have to give, let's say, 10 words and the tool or sorry, a word wall simply transforms those words in the form of a word search or a crossword chart. Random cards is also another dealing template or more of an option chooser. You can also use it more of a, you can also use it like the random V. Label diagram, I'll not uh, get into the details of this. Uh, I mean, more suitable for subjects like social science or EVS. Then comes anagram. Here, suppose you want to check the spellings. Again, another spell check template. You give a word and the child has to rearrange the letters to find out the correct word. Game show quiz, another uh, challenge based as well as life based life in the sense, you know, you have uh, the chances, three chances, two chances, one chance. Uh, game show quiz is again in an MCQ format. Only thing is it has a lot of fun elements in uh, the template. Flip ties I've already mentioned. Maze chase, another interactive game template where uh, it's more of, it, it follows the Pac-Man game mechanism where you have to reach the correct answer before the bots uh, eat the character. So again, here, uh, if you give any quiz or an exercise, the student feels uh, a sense of belongingness with this game, right? That I can do it, I can achieve this, I can level up, uh, all that. Then uh, next is true or false to assess factual uh, statements, sorry, factual knowledge of the students. And image quiz uh, can be used for uh, image recognition by the students. You can give, let's say, an image from, or uh, let's say a writer's image, and you want the child to identify which writer is this. So uh, there will be a set timer and the tiles reveal starts revealing themselves one by one. And the faster the child guesses the image, the higher will be the score. So these were some of the templates that WordWall offers. So you have to choose any one template from here. You have to enter your content and publish it. So these are just three easy steps to create a resource. I repeat, pick a template, enter your content and publish it or share it with your students. You can also choose from a variety of themes to customize your templates. These are certain options which I will be talking. I will be talking in detail when I give you the full demo of how to use WordWall. You have to share. You have to uh, once you have created your content, you will get a share option at the bottom of your activity. You have to click on share, and you can easily share it via social media, Google Classroom, mail, or by scanning the QR code. We also have the option of a leaderboard where the children can feel uh, the level of competition and they can also improve their scores if they want. Another thing, you can also track your students' scores from my results 
tab. So when you click on my results and uh, you have set your activity as an assignment, the entire record will be visible here. And you can also check the entire data here in the form of uh, how many questions were answered correctly, whether, uh, I mean, how much time was taken by the particular student to complete the quiz, everything. From the community tab, you can also choose, sorry, from a variety of templates and you can easily use them free of cost as direct resources, sorry, from WordWall. Now, like I mentioned that we don't have a specific tool for language learning, but there are many more tools like games to learning, learnenglish.com where there are a lot of English activities and games for your students from text to speech.com where you just type in a text and you can convert it into an audio file to enhance your listening skills as well as pronunciation. And you can also visit epachala.nic.in to access a variety of content based on your learning needs and outcomes. So these were a couple of resources that I have mentioned. Excuse me, madam. Please type website name in chat box, please. The website links in the chat box. I'll do it. Madam, good afternoon. Could you please uh, tell about the sharing options? Once again, I will, I will mention everything. Just, just yeah. one, one moment. I'll just share the links in the chat box for your reference. Here they are. Right? Okay, I think uh, two hyperlinks were not created, but you can easily copy paste that into your web browser and uh, visit the link. All right, moving on. We are moving on to the live demo of how to use WordWall and how to share, how to create, how the template will be visible to us. All that will be here in this live demo. So just, just share my screen here. So I hope my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am, yes. Yeah. So, yes, yes, ma'am. So when we click on wordwall.net, this is the site, wordwall.net, we are redirected to this page. The first step, so does anyone remember what was the first step from the PPT? Signing up. Sign up. Of course, signing up. First step, first and the easiest step is to- Signing up. Signing up with Google if you have account. Signing, sign up with Google. So if you sign up, this is how, sorry. So I already have an account. I'll simply click on login, sign in with Google. And here I am. So this is how my homepage looks like, right? And these were the templates that I had discussed. So I am going to click on create activity to create my first activity. Now I've already uh, created one. So I'll directly go to my activity. Also, before we begin, this is not a completely free tool. It's actually open source, but based on subscription. So you can use any five templates and uh, make any five contents there. Sorry, but you can always reuse those templates and change and edit the content there. Right? So the best uh, thing or the best hack here would be to explore the community tab and search for all the templates. So whatever template is suitable for your learning outcome, uh, you can just shortlist those five templates and keep reusing them time and again. So I'll go to my activities and I'm going to show you three templates. I'm going to give you a demo of three templates. The first one that I'm going to choose is unjumble the words, sorry, the unjumble template. I'll just quickly show you uh, from uh, where we can find that. This one, unjumble. This is the template that I'm going to show you now. So going back to my activities. And when you click on unjumble, I'll just, your page will look like this, right? Here will be the activity title. A second. 
activity title, optional instructions, and all your blanks. So the first is to give an activity title. Here I have written, unjumble the words given below to frame correct sentences. That's my title, that's my question. What will be the instructions for the student? Drag and drop the words in correct order to frame logical sentences. You can either remove it, and there's always an option. There's a, there's a template for that also, in case you want to follow this. See, you can see that it's highlighted, right? I edited it based on uh, uh, my student's learning need. Instruction given. Then we have options to add a phrase, right? So the first sentence you can see is, Ram is writing a letter to his mother. Now the template is unjumbled, but I am writing the sentence correctly, right? Please bear with me. We will see how word wall does the magic and unjumbles your sentences in, his, in its activity. So I'll click on add a phrase. Now, when we talk about languages, our first, uh, the first thing that comes to our mind is that we only talk about languages like English and Hindi. What about the regional languages? Will word wall support regional languages? The answer is, Yes, word wall supports regional language as well. However, you have to incorporate Google Translate and Google input tools in order to make that possible. So, I'll just write my next sentence, which is, uh, I'm using Google input tools here to make my sentence, to write the sentence, Reena Patam. So that's my sentence. I'll simply select it, copy it, and add it here. So English done, Hindi done. Right? Let's have a look at regional languages now. So I'll go to Google Translate. And let's say I choose the language Telugu. And I add the sentence here. I am going to the market. Automatically, I have my script here as it is. I'll go to the third phrase and I'll paste it here. If I want more sentences, I'll again click on add a phrase. If I want to remove a sentence, I'll click on delete. Okay, if there are a lot of sentences and you feel that you want to edit it, you can delete it. Next, let's say I choose the sentence uh, sorry, I choose the language Canada, and let me have the sentence as I am stunned. Right here, Canada. Add it. Next, if I have, let's say, uh, sorry, Malayalam. Let's have a look at Malayalam. Right, and my sentence is. The peacock is dancing. Malayalam, copy, paste, done. I'll try one more language. Suppose Rahul is playing and I choose Tamil instead. Done. Regional language, done. Now, English done, regional done. Let's take one more foreign language, say French. So, je parle français, which translates to I speak French. So, because this tool is about languages, it's quite imperative to incorporate all kinds of languages that are possible. So, here, now, I by mistake, I clicked on add a phrase. Again, I clicked on add a phrase. I can easily go and delete this. Right? My seven sentences are ready. But again, the template is unjumbled. How will word wall change that? I'll click on done once I have added my content. So I chose my template. I added my content. Okay, there must be at least three words. Okay, so this was 
let's find out. Uh oh, sorry. Let's hit it. I am reading a book because so three words are minimum. Let's see if this takes it now. Right? And your uh, activity is ready. We'll click on start. I hope the you can uh, hear the audio, the background audio of this of this activity. Yes. One second. Hmm. Yes, select. Right. So the idea is to just simply drag and drop the letters. Right. Even wondering that okay, fine, black and all this is very boring. I want something colorful. So I can also choose different different themes from here. There are plenty. There are around, sorry, five. Okay. So let's stick to this. You just have to drag and drop to frame the correct sentence. Okay. So I would, it would be great if anybody could help me with the regional languages. This is also done. Ah, thank you, sir. Anyone for Samir oh. Amar? Language full changes are there. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, and then finally. So all the languages have been. Uh, dear participants, is there any problem? खत्म हो गया है and this shows the time that i took to complete the activity as well as my score if i want to start again i will click on this icon if i want the child to see the answers the child will simply click on show answers and all the sentences are here so if i scroll down you can easily see your regional language as well so somebody wanted to see kannada language see it's all there right if you want the student to write down the sentences correctly this is a this is an amazing tool for that if i want to click on if i want to uh, make a mark in the leaderboard i'll click on leaderboard add my name let's say uh, again click on leaderboard okay so the option if i if i had select if I, if i had added my name it would have showed here now how are we going to share this we have to click on share here i repeat scroll down you will find the share icon here click on share and simply copy this link and you can paste it uh, in chat chat box whatsapp social media mail and the students just have to click the hyperlink and they will be redirected to the activity like this they'll simply have the start button they just have to click there and play right if you want to edit the content you can simply click on edit content here and you will be redirected to the entire template if you want to make any changes you can do that so next if you want to set it as an assignment you will click on set assignment which is right next to edit content you can set a deadline with the time and date whether registration is important or no at the end of the game whether you want to have 
the option for the child to see the answers, to make a mark on the leaderboard or start again. You can just choose and customize this as per your need. And then you have to click on start, right? Then uh, this is the timer. If you want the student to complete the activity without any time limit, you can click on none. If you want marking on every word or on submit or automatically proceed after marking, you can also customize that. Alignment also you can choose. And uh, if you want the answers to be shown at the end of the game, this is where you can select. You can either deselect it or select it and then click on apply to this activity, right? So this was about how the activity will look uh, to the student. Then comes leaderboard. Here you can see there are, so, there are only three ranks. You can also customize this. I repeat, activity, share, edit content, set assignment, themes, options to customize, and finally, leaderboard. You will find options icon at the right-hand side of the leaderboard. Click on that, and suddenly there it drops down and gives you the option to enable it or disable it. The size, whether you want top three, top five, top 10, top 20, top 40. To duplicate names, whether you want the child to uh, just appear for it once, or whether you want the child to improve his score and allow duplicate names, right? Again, uh, depends from teacher to teacher. Whether you want the leaderboard to remain for a year, a month, a week, 24 hours, up to you. And if you feel that you have used this activity once, let's say a particular section, let's say grade seven. So seventh A has already performed this activity. You want to clear the leaderboard. We'll simply click on clear now. Are you sure? Yes. So it automatically removes the, op the names from the leaderboard. So this was about temp the first template that is unjumble. Again, I'll go to my activities. And this time I'm going to show this template, uh, missing word, the fill in the blanks one, right? So missing word as well. Now I talked about how to share it via WhatsApp, Google Classroom, email, social media. There's another option to share this, which is QR code. Again, share and I will simply click on QR code. Okay, so if you have, or you can do this later as well. If you have your, uh, if you're logged in via laptop and if you have your phone uh, available and free, you can simply select your camera, bring it closer to this QR code. There will be a hyperlink that is being generated there. You have to click on that and play the game. So I'll have the QR code on for uh, one second. Just, yeah. So here you can see that a lot of participants have already played this game, but I'm going to clear and delete all the entries as of now. So you can see that my entire leaderboard is blank for you. So like I mentioned, I'm having this QR code for two minutes. And let's see if participants are able to scan it, play the game, and whether they are able to make a mark on the leaderboard or not. Just switch on the camera, bring it closer to the QR code, and it automatically generates a link. Could any participant do that? So 1.5 minutes. Yeah. All right. If you have, if you've done it, good. Again, camera, bring it closer, click on the link and it's a very easy task. Just four sentences, drag and drop using your phone, like a mobile game, just drag and drop. Yeah, Particular, do you have any questions here? Any doubt? All right. Okay. 
all right so let me see how many of you were able to okay no one i submitted ma'am did you did you write your name did you uh, select leaderboard and write your name there okay okay hmm do that so i can see only one participant is playing this game and it would be great if others also try it out Excuse I can't edit my name, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can uh, I edit my name? QR mm -hmm. code is not being scanned by the camera, ma'am. Can you repeat the steps? Ah, uh, ma'am, if it is not happening with your camera, then you will have to download a QR code scanner, and only then you can scan it. For uh, the rest, if your camera is capturing this QR code, just uh, just like you click a normal picture, just bring the camera closer to this QR code. and you will have a hyperlink at the bottom just click on that link directly from the camera right let me just try ma'am i am on phone can you please uh, share that link on chat box ma'am okay i think if you are not able to do it from the qr code i think that i can do so share now see what i do i'm going to copy this okay and here now you can do even if you are logged in from your phone or laptop you can easily click from the chat box and do it i'm done madam done yeah. great so i'm giving two more minutes and let us have a look at the leaderboard as and when it comes I want to see the names on the leaderboard. Let's see who comes first. Ma'am, I have downloaded QR scan code. Can you please uh, keep it on the screen? QR code. Yes. Ma'am, this is the activity I created now. All right, sir. Sir, we will have a look at it. I I shared it on the chat. box yes i can see it sir okay yes. so now we can see that there are seven names on the leaderboard kavita ma'am uh manasa okay all these names are there so seven participants this is your score this is the time that you took to complete the activity right i think more are still coming now for those who could not play the game for maybe network issue or the scanning qr code scanning bit i'll i'll drag this submit answers let's see if i drag the incorrect word what happens and i submit the answer it simply gives a cross there okay and it shows the time the score if i write the leaderboard as uh and enter see i can also see the my leaderboard and i can see my name here on the tenth line after entering we could not uh, edit our name okay so you can easily scroll down and you can see it there this is this is in the act, uh, in the activity uh, block itself right and if i click on back and click on show answers it's going to show me the answer mai isliye click kar kar rakh li na wow usme kheli mai bhi isse nahi case mein nahi dikha 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 hai on scroll kar di so uh, you can see that my first question was correct my second was wrong so it has also given me the correct answer right so there is positive reinforcement also in this template now how did i create this assignment when you choose a uh, missing words template this is how the backend looks like so activity title again i have mentioned it as choose the correct word suppose 
I'll just show you how I had selected the incorrect word. So suppose I have written my first sentence as listen to me carefully. I will double click on listen and automatically my missing word appears here as a block. I'll show it once again. <laughs> Study a participant, be on mute because it's, it's something really important, and then the important information goes missing. Yes, it would be great if you could be on mute. We have less time, and I want a smooth session. So please mute yourself, sir. Yeah, thank you. So, suppose you write the sentence as listen to me carefully and double click on this word, it automatically selects it. And here you have to add your incorrect word. I repeat, you have to add your incorrect word here. You will click on add a new word. And let's say I give a wrong answer here as H-E-A-R here. Then Reena ek patra likhti hai. I will choose likhti, I'll double click this. Automatically, my missing word is created. I'll go to Google input tools. I will write likhte, an incorrect word, copy it, and click on add a new word, and done. If I, and I can create a set of maximum 100 questions here, and I'll simply click on done. And then the activity will look like the way it appeared to you when you were playing the game. Editing, setting it as an assignment, sharing it, choosing the theme, the options for keeping a timer or showing the answers, having a leaderboard, customizing it, everything remains the same. Now, these two were more of activity-based games, which, you know, not the child does not necessarily have to perform within the classroom setting itself. The child can do it at any time because, uh, in a blended mode of learning, or let's say when it comes to students with digital devices, we often find, it's okay, sir. That's why even I, my, uh, the Hindi answer was incorrect from my side also. So it's okay, sir, don't worry. That's the beauty of language. And you're a master in the language that you know, right? So I was talking about uh, students with, uh, students having access to digital devices, some use their parents' phones, some have their uh, own devices, laptops or tabs, and some, uh, some children's parents are uh, out uh, because of work. So the kids may have access to their devices once their parents return. So we need to address the concerns of the students as well. So if you post this link in the uh, WhatsApp chat or any social media group, the student can do it at his or her own convenience and also make a mark in the leaderboard, right? Now, moving on to one such template which we can use in an interactive live classroom or in a live setting, just like you and I are in this Zoom session on language tools. So I'm going to show you the next template of the random view. I'll again go to my activities. Uh, Yeah, and I've already created this one. So let me show you which tool I'm talking, to, which template I'm talking about right now. I'm sorry, the net is a bit slow here right now. Just a second. This is the template that I'm talking about right now, the random view, right? So again, I'll go to my activities, select random view. And I'll show you how it looks like. Right? So I have added a couple of options for a speech or an extemporary session, uh, for a speech or an extemporary session, sorry. So suppose I, I just imagine myself as a teacher and all you participants as my students. I'll zoom in. I'm going to click on spin it. It spins and wherever the arrowhead stops, that option zooms in. So suppose I want my students or one of the students to speak or give an extemporary on my favorite animal. 
student gives the speech or the extempore done and then i can eliminate this option to avoid duplicacy spin it again and the arrowhead let's say stops at mera sabse priya dost that is my best friend gives a speech or maybe even reads this reads a sentence if that is an option in the spinning wheel done eliminate and then you can like uh, use these options and eliminate them one by one or keep on re reusing it as per your uh, student strength in the classroom so i'm going to zoom out and show you how this was created right again the back end frame of the template looks like this the activity title i've chosen as jam just a minute you can add anything read aloud role play read the following sentences aloud um uh, act like the given word some kind of a you know dumb shit acts based on words anything right for me i chose an extemporary session here i gave an instruction which appears at the center of the wheel they give a short speech on the given topic and options right in the spinning wheel you can also add images so if i so this is this is you can you will find this icon in certain templates suppose i click on my city right and i have a lot of options so i did not have to search for my city it is automatically showing me images based on the text that i have given right so suppose my city and i choose this my favorite animal and let's say i choose lions mera sabse priya dost so here you can just search for friend and let's say i choose this mere sapno ka bharat suppose i choose india and automatically i have india let's say i have the flag right you can also add up to 50 options and i click on done now let's have a look at how this wheel would look like right so now when i click on start visual representation right so mere sapno ka bharat and it shows me the image here right again if i spin it this will show me the image of uh mera sabse priya dost here like suppose i zoom in so the image is also here so just like this you can use the spinning wheel for your interactive live classroom sessions so uh that was about the templates you can subscribe create five templates for free and unlimited usage of templates with the paid version for results you can click on my results and see the leaderboard here you can go to the community tab and explore a wide range of templates this is the quiz this one is the uh, so this is another image mcq and all these templates are given at the bottom of each activity like suppose this is a this has been made with the help of quiz template this has been made with the help of maze chase this one has been has been made with group sort open the box etc you can explore choose and shortlist any five templates and make your activity and last but not the least when when you are done with the activities do not forget to log out for cyber safety and with that presentation on word wall comes to an end i hope you enjoyed the session and i hope that you would use word wall in your classrooms for creating resources and in order to make learning more engaging and fun we have another 10 minutes and if you have any questions any feedback the floor is open for you now over to you i am unable to download this ma'am you have to download this yes uh, you just have to go on wordwall.net i'll just click i'll just type that in chat www.wordwall.net this is the link so any doubt if you want i still have 10 more minutes if you want me to take you through some more uh, uh, some some features that you may have missed during the course of the presentation i may i i'm ready to me, give a recap as well excuse me madam uh, excuse me madam uh, yes sir just yes. a second Uh, yes, madam uh, is it possible uh, the picture sequence can be uh, 
arranged in sequence sequencing of pictures rearranging yes yes, yes you can do that you can just export the templates and show us ma'am uh, so sir uh, for me what has happened is that i have already used up the templates but uh, okay. so okay uh, rearranging pictures uh, as in some in the in the process format how will it be useful for language a listening skill for example you play a story small story huh? children will listen and they will arrange uh, the pictures in sequence we will provide the pictures okay. they will arrange okay. it in jumbled order we will uh, provide in jumbled order All they right. have to arrange in sequence okay so uh, sir it only has uh, set templates and uh, we can only have unjumbling the words to create a sentence but not for but not for unjumbling images as such that we Achim. do not have here excuse me ma'am yes hari sir uh, ma'am uh, someone uh, posted one link on the chat box uh, when i click uh, click on it it show that uh, the uh, the owner is not pu made public uh, it came a uh, message okay yes yes so that is that is one let me show you how to make or share your uh, content for public use so suppose this is my activity right and uh one second so mm, let me choose this one only right so when you first click on share because i've already cre created this activity it it showed the other page it, it re redirects me to the sharing options but when you first create this activity the first uh, set you 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 will get get uh, this page you can easily add an age band let's say 13 to 15 years you can add the subject which is let's say english this is more of creating this in the form of a metadata you can add the topic so this is more of a sentence structure and Second. Okay. Net is running a bit slow. Yeah, it's done. And you will click on publish. Only then it becomes shareable. And then click on done. Right. I'll show it once again. Share. You will get this page, and you click on publish. फेसबुक then it will of course ask you to sign into facebook if you choose google classroom so if your gmail account is synced with google classroom it will automatically open that if you want to share it by an email it will ask you to uh, i mean choose your email account if it is not on gmail if it is let's say a microsoft account or uh, redif mail or yahoo mail depending on that whatever uh, howsoever you want to mail you can simply copy the link and suppose you are having it in a live classroom so let's say you are uh, having some kind of a session on language and you want uh, the students to you know kind of uh, sorry you want to assess the students comprehension skills or understanding of the topic and at the same time you also want to give them the feedback you can simply paste it in the chat box as well just like i did here right so what okay. it is actually so yeah. Uh, one more thing dear participants what this is actually doing is that you don't have to indulge in pen and paper corrections and you know kind of pile on with that corrections are also happening here and tracking of the result is also taking place simultaneously at the same time you like i mentioned word wall does the entire magic in three steps choose the template fill in the content and share it with your students just three simple steps So, any other questions, dear participants? Ma'am, if we choose more than five templates, then we have to pay for it. 
yes and you will have to pay for it but that is that is what i meant that is what i meant that uh, you have to uh, that is what i meant you have to uh, explore different different resources from the community tab because then it will give you an idea on how each and every template looks like right so uh, what will be useful for your learning outcomes or los what will be useful for your grade level accordingly you can select templates and printable worksheets are also open for use in the paid version like whatever you create suppose uh, the fill in the blanks type you can have it in the form of a printable worksheet instead of an interactive game in the paid version not in the free version but uh, having said that the free version is no less the community uh, sorry the resources and activities in the community tab there there won't be any copyright issues there and uh, because once you are setting it as uh, you know sharing it in the public uh, format it can be accessible for all okay so all right so i can see that arvind raj sir has created a resource arvind raj sir is this the one Uh, yes madam yes okay so yes so arvind raj sir has used the word search template here and thank you sir this also gives me an opportunity to showcase a different template so he, this you will simply drag yes i just select the first letter then uh this one snip right so uh, like that Anything I, else? I would say I chose. Okay, echo. Ouch. All right. So, uh, all smell. Smell is there. Smell. Ah, uh, sir, can you just help me locate it? I mean, uh, maybe, maybe the column and the row like that. Oh yeah. or any participant i think this this is a game for everyone at the end by your participant how active so nice to see all the participants actively participating in this group uh okay please please this one okay so you have chosen the diagonal one also once i've chosen all it shows the score it shows the time and it also tells me that i'm second on the leaderboard automatically it gives me uh the sense of achievement and makes me go on leaderboard and add my name right and i'll enter it so arvin sir will be see me yes. on the leaderboard and i can also see myself so i'm the student here and arvin sir is the educator or the teacher here so i'll click now this this is from the student's perspective right so the roles have reversed here i'll click on back if i want to see the answers i click on correct answers okay it all right and if i want to start again i can also start it once again thank you so much arvin sir thank you madam okay so i can see more uh, resources being created okay so i'll i'll look at harsha ma'ams no sorry this was i think uh, rupa shri ma'ams template and rupa shri ma'am has used the mcq template and she has given she has written the sentences and a b c d so rupa ma'am just to add on you can also have images here there was an option to have images in case you want right to make it more uh, visually appealing right yeah. so i i have yeah. the story i was i may not have been a good student i was a back bencher i couldn't read the story yeah, it was <laughs> and if i want to see the answer yeah it was a part of the poem and then standard second language english karnataka state <laughs> all right like i like i said that i i am the back bencher here so that is why i got it wrong <laughs> but okay. it's okay i can try again so thank you ma'am for giving such an opportunity <laughs> all right all right and i am really happy to see the resources that are being created 
and this is another one by Harsha uh, Ma'am in Hindi. So this is another uh, incorporation of the MCQ format. So Matrimuni Kavita ke kavi hai. Okay. So this is like a complete knowledge test. And let me try. Okay, so there, there is no... Okay, so for, uh, if I click on start again and if I score. Congrats. So sir, so uh, Harsha ma'am has not, uh, you know, deselected allow duplicate themes. So this gives a sense of achievement to the backbencher as well, that yes, I participated, my participation was there and my name is also there on the leaderboard as first. So for a backbencher, for someone who doesn't get to speak or use proper language in the class, language tools help in building the student's confidence and actually make them, uh, makes them come out of their shell of uh, low confidence as well as you know that whole idea of being sidelined in the class it sometimes happens it's usually it usually doesn't happen because of the teacher it's just that they don't get the chance but for uh, with the help of tools like this it is easy to uh, incorporate inclusive learning in classroom setting okay so we still have 4 minutes no one more doubt yes sir uh... I created a QR code mm -hmm. and sent to my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, while conversating here, mm -hmm. my teacher uh, told that uh, the publishing settings is in private. That's why I changed the settings mm -hmm. as per your instructions and then create uh, and then copy the QR code. Okay. Now it changed or not? Already I created a QR, QR code mm -hmm. and changed the settings. Mm -hmm. Now I'm copying a QR code again. That QR code is the same as the first. Yeah, because that, that is just like, you know, an identification number for the resource that you have created. The QR code will be the same. Okay. It's just that since you have changed the settings, now they will be able to see it and play along. So I'm just going to uh, have a look at the last resource that has been created by our participant. And then we will wind up in the last two minutes. Thank right. You. So. I could see that this is more about, now somebody has used uh, the spinning wheel called naming the image. So here we can, of course, I mean, you know, make N capital and all. And uh, if I click on start, so uh, one, just a second. So I can see that this has been created by Kavita ma'am. So Kavita ma'am, you can add the instruction here as well, right? So, so that it shows that, you know, identify the image here, so the instruction, what happens is that the instruction becomes more, sorry, instruction becomes clearer for the student. Ma'am, how to add that? Okay, I'll show it quickly, right? So suppose you have added the image and, hold on, just a second. So we have two more minutes and I'll quickly show this. So this was my spin the wheel. This is how it looked after creating. I'll click on edit content and I can add it in instruction, right? My instruction will come at the center of the wheel so that I know what I have to do as soon as the arrowhead stops at the option, right? Okay, <coughs> all right. But a really good attempt and I think the participation is what matters here. And this, this is where your instruction will appear at the center of the wheel. Where we have to select, ma'am, center of the wheel. Ma'am, okay. uh, once you have cl clicked on edit content, yeah. activity title is there. Yeah, activity title. Then come instruction, add instruction. Yeah. The optional bit. Yeah. There, yeah. if you write down, let's say, identify the image. Okay. Wherever the pointer stops, something like that, the instruction will be will appear at the center. So, okay, but uh, my activity, ma'am. Uh, that board is not there, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Leadership board. Okay, ma'am. Uh, leadership uh, board is not available on templates like spin the wheel, uh, random wheel, then flip. Uh, sorry, flip the box, uh, and uh, the other uh, tile one because these are all interactive teaching tools. 
we can't you know use a spin the wheel as a as an assessment or as a home assignment you okay. will have to use it in an interactive classroom otherwise suppose i send the link of the spin the wheel to my student and the student keeps on spinning it the instruction is give a speech or identify how will you know whether he has identified or no or not because these yeah. are all uh, two templates that we use to assess a child's speaking skills so can we control the speed of the spin ma'am in that how can how can we stop that wheel it's the spinning wheel simply stops on its own okay spin it, it will stop on its own and uh, the pointer will stop at the desire, at any random option that's why it's called the random wheel so okay. uh, dear participants as you can see that there's a pop up on our screens we will have to leave the room now and join the main session so once again i would like to thank all the participants for being so patient and active and uh, for being such good uh, participants and active participants throughout the session thank you very much may you have engaging and fun classes thank you beautiful it's a privilege to be in your group ma'am thank you thank you so you can leave breakout room from the option at the bottom of your screen